I'm joined by Josh Combs. Josh is uh, part of our engineering team here at McElroy. So we're in the Sidewinder booth. There's been a lot of activity uh, and some innovation around the Sidewinder as well. So Josh, what do we got going on over here? So we've been manufacturing the Sidewinder here at McElroy for almost 40 years. We make it in several different variations. We have chain clamp and jaw clamp varieties, a standard travel and compact travel. And we also offer different gauges with uh, at 300 PSI, 600 PSI, 1000 PSI, and 1500 PSI. For our first stop, we've got a chain clamp sidewinder in standard travel. We're using a two inch IPS main. So we've got two inch IPS sidewall inserts here and a two inch IPS line bolster. So this would be our most versatile setup for a sidewinder. Um, as it ships, a chain clamp can accommodate main sizes up to 8-inch IPS, um, but with extension kits, you can actually take the capacity up to 36-inch OD mains. Um, in the standard travel version, you have more travel to accommodate either longer fittings or thicker stacks of heater adapters. Um, so once again, most versatile option. I noticed Juan over here, he's got a shorter version of the Sidewinder, a little more compact. Why do we make it uh, two different size sizes in the Sidewinder? That's a great question. So as we talked about with the standard travel version, this is the most versatile. You can accommodate more fittings and more heater adapters and, uh, and sizes, but it's also taller and heavier. So if you know that you don't need that much versatility, we can go with our compact model, which saves you an overall size envelope and weight. Um, in addition to that, this version that we have over here is also our jaw clamp version. Juan's gonna place it on the main, the main pipe here. Um, our jaw clamp won't accommodate as many sizes. It's not as versatile. But if, you've, if you know that your main sizes are only inch and a half to four inch IPS, the jaw clamp is definitely more efficient. Um, and this is an opportunity we're gonna take to show you kind of some of more, more innovations in this product line. Like we, like we mentioned earlier, we've been making sidewinders for almost 40 years, but that doesn't mean we've stopped innovating on them. So uh, what we've got in our jaw clamp we have what we're, what we're calling our re-rounding inserts. This is a collaboration with one of our end users who wanted to be able to utilize the jaw clamp sidewinder to provide even more re-rounding of their mains. So we've come up with a special set of inserts that help you take that re-rounding ability of the jaw clamps closer to the fitting. Um, and that, that will help you ensure a better contact between your fitting and your pipe for your fusion. We're offering those in two inch IPS and three inch IPS sizes. Uh, they're currently available and priced for sale. So I've got to ask, I noticed the data logger connected to a Sidewinder and I've, I've seen it done, but talk to me about that a little bit. So is there a special kit needed to be able to do that? And how does that work with the data logger? Yeah, we offer an adapter kit for data loggers that can be, that can adapt multiple years of Sidewinders to, to be data logger capable. Um, the Sidewinder has been data logger capable, or the data logger has been Sidewinder capable, since uh, the release, around the time of the release of the Data Logger 6, which is about 2017. Um, since that time, we've seen some steady growth in people utilizing the data logger for Sidewinders, um, and especially more so in the last couple years, we've really been having a lot of conversations with some of our larger customers about how they can integrate Sidewinder data logging into their fusion procedures and processes. Um, we've got some, some pretty cool things that we like to talk about when we're talking about data loggers and sidewinders. Um, a lot of pipe and fittings these days have barcodes on them, either printed on the pipe or in this case on a label. The data logger has a scanner built in and you can actually use these barcodes to upload some of that data into the data logger. If for some reason you don't have barcodes, most fittings will have the information printed on the, on the label and you can enter it manually. If you don't have that either, you can actually measure your base put those dimensions in the data logger, it'll calculate your fusion pressure for you. So we have multiple ways we can accommodate different fittings and different pipe using the Sidewinder and data logger combination.